Hi guys, <coughs> different sort of video this one just quickly. I'm sat in the hide, been here um, for a couple of hours, few hours this morning. It's gone very quiet and uh, this is my FX Crown Mark II. What a beautiful rifle this is, love it. I've not used it for about a month because I've been using the FX Impact M3 <coughs> with the Wolf 4K scope on it. If you've watched my videos, you've seen a lot of it. Now this is an absolutely lovely gun, really good quality, superb, but today I've been having to hand load through that little gap there and it's been a pain in the arse, okay? So this is a superb gun, absolutely brilliant. This here is a pile of crap, okay? Now I should have been warned. Previously when I've been using this gun, I've not used it for about a month or so, like I said. And after I've been sat in the hide, let's say, for an hour without taking a shot and you think, oh, that's about time to go home. So you go back to the car and you empty it out. You empty your, uh, sorry, I'm trying to do this one hand and it's really difficult. And you go to empty your magazine out. And a couple of times I've noticed, when I've emptied all the pellets out of it, it's not rotated, it's been like stuck in one position now this has got no no pellets in it at all as you can see and it's been stuck and I've had to move it back around to its stop or move it backwards forwards a few times to get it to release now look at this now if I can do it with my hand so doesn't matter what I do with it today this magazine is jammed and stuck absolutely I've been sat in the hide moving it backwards and forwards backwards and forwards trying to loosen it up 10 minutes earlier today doesn't work at all it's totally jammed I can only move it with my hand and it's just been sat in the gun case for about a month unloaded and it's not working at all um, now it's the same with the FX Impact M3 I've got to be honest that magazine has caused me a lot of problems. I've not mentioned it before on my channel. But um, occasionally it would jam or not work. You'd have to tap it and get it to work. Then with the FX Impact, I had a lot of problems fitting it into the gun to get it to, to actually fit in. And it was like jamming solid. And then I realized that this pin had become, or this bit here had become a little bit loose. And so it came a bit proud and it was jammed. So at that point, I took the, the impact one apart and um, tried it with more spring tension, less spring tension, whatever I do with the FX impact, it's it's the same. It, it it gets to certain points and it just sticks and you've got to tap the magazine and it jumps around. And so when I use the FX impact, every time I cycle it, I listen for that click where it jumps around to the next, if not, I put my hand to my ear where this um, magazine is, give it a tap, it clicks and you carry it on. As you can see, this magazine is absolutely useless. So I'm going to have to go home, take this one apart. And I'm pretty practical with these sort of things. And the impact one, I can't get to work 100%. I'd say it's about 85%-ish at the moment. This one is 0%, as you can see. It's absolutely jam solid. Not done anything to it, just not used it literally not used it for about a month come out and it's jammed absolutely solid now i have to say also unfortunately this is the second magazine i've had for this rifle totally unrelated the first magazine i had i was using it one day cycled it and it fell out the gun i thought what the happened there so i picked it up put it back in and it was as loose as hell and it had lost that little o-ring there that gives the uh, bit of friction to it probably just a one-off no idea what happened to it where it went how it come out i'm pretty careful with all my equipment um and had to have a brand new magazine because i couldn't get me uh a new little one to glue in or stick in if i'd have found the old one or I'd found an old ring that would fit i'd have just glued one in but anyway but this magazine here right here right now is a pile of rubbish <coughs> this rifle is fantastic it's brilliant 
totally let down by this. The concept of this is brilliant. The actual concept of this magazine, how it works, how it is, but the actual implication of using it, this one and my other side shop magazine for my impact have both been let down, I think, or I can only imagine, by the, uh, not the quality of what it's, why it's made, but the precision, it's just not tuned to work 100%. And a company like FX that make superb products, I really, I've been felt really let down by this, um, by these magazines, because both the ones I've had have not been perfect. And it just needs a bit of fine tuning from FX, come on guys, to get these to work really well. Because I'm sure that's all it needs, is a bit of fine tuning. So, uh, rant over, FX, pull your finger out, get these things working, and we'll all be happy. Okay guys, I'm back home now. I've had the magazine apart several times. Uh, given all a good clean although it was spotlessly clean inside to be honest and it made no difference it would jam it wherever I rotated the inside bit to um, I moved the spring round to a different hole there's a couple or four different holes underneath here to give it a little bit more tension still made absolutely no difference uh, la -de la -de la so after studying it for a while what seems to be the issue on this magazine is where this rotating cog spins around the bearing underneath this rotating knob which is part of the outer casing comes up through there and supports this rotating cog um, it just seems to stick on there so whether the tolerances are not very good or whatever I don't know so I put just literally a couple of drops of silicone oil on there and now it's well I can say now it's been working flawlessly it's now a bit like the FX Impact magazine. It's working 85-90% sort of the time. I've tried it with Barracuda Hunter 18 grains. I've tried it with Jess B Exact 16 grain pellets. It should cycle pellets absolutely flawlessly. That's what this gun is designed for. Um, it sticks every now and again. Let's give it a go. I'm confident it's going to work now having put that lube in and so on it works more often than not but occasionally it sticks and it always sticks when the last pellet when it gets around about sorry when this last bit gets around about to this little area here and I think it's to do with how much that wheel can sort of twist now I've tried loads of different tensions on this little wheel if I put it down too much obviously there's too much tension and it grabs the, the wheel makes it worse if you release it too much then there's too much play in there and the inner cog can um, has too much movement and it sort of jams but I've kind of got it as best as I think I can let's give it a go I'm pretty confident well I'm about 80% confident it will work this time now obviously I'm just pushing it through with a little allen key but doesn't matter what you do with it it should work every time and now like I say, I just hadn't used a magazine for one month, about a month, it had just been sat in the bag and it was just would not work at all. I shouldn't have to take it apart and mess around with it to get it working after it just sitting there for a while. And now it's going fine. Well, my point is, I shouldn't have to do anything with it at all anyway. Perhaps if I'm using some different ammunition that it doesn't like or something like that, I could understand it. But it's the same with everything. I've got my impact with Jess B. Hades. This is 0.25. Now this one was terrible. Okay, this one would definitely not work all the time. I've done the same with this. Just put a little bit of silicone around the centre. Um, this magazine, I never put more than 10 to 15 pellets in it because... I didn't see the point because it would always jam up and, and sort of let me down. So let's try this one now. And again, this one seems to be working much better.
Oh, nearly had a stick then. Do you see that? There we go. But at least it didn't fully stick, which it would have done before. Now you could say a little bit is me with this little Allen key or whatever, but the point is when you pay the amount of money you pay for one of these guns, which if you know what I'm talking about, you'll know how much money these cost. And they're let down by these. And I've been having a look online, you can get different makes that look like they um, might operate or be better single shot ones um, and so on which I might be looking to sort of buy but the whole point of it is these should work yeah there's no reason why these shouldn't work 100% every time all the time definitely there's no reason that I should have to take them apart every month to clean them try different tensions try different bits and pieces never had that with any of my other air rifles not any other and I've had a dozen of different makes of air rifles and never had a problem with any of the other magazines the FX Wildcat Mark 1 I've got perfect because it's just got a, a standard magazine which is indexed by the rifle not indexed by the magazine mechanism so anyway I mean they're working alright again now so rant over but my whole point in this video is I shouldn't be messing around with these magazines they should just work from day one every time all the time let me know what you think in the comments down below everyone please and uh, I would imagine there's a million remedies out there for this or are the new magazines manufactured to a better tolerance and just don't have this problem I've owned these guns, uh, the Crown, for nearly a year, Not probably not that long, eight, nine months, the FX for five, six months, FX M3, Crown Mark II. Let me know uh, in the comments below exactly what you think about these magazines, and if you know of a 100% fix to it, um, give me a shout below. Thanks guys, bye bye for now.